Lastly, we will now use sequence suite to use the imposition and compose functions together. To do this, we will import two files, catalog covers and catalog body, right clicking or shift clicking to select the two files, drop them into the held queue, the files will be imported, we'll select the catalog body and click the compose button. I'm going to begin by using a predefined template. For this example, I'll select two up saddle. and my layout begins to come together. We'll change our booklet then to a saddle booklet, but we'll change our sheet size then to 11 by 17. And we can see automatically the layout is being updated. We will set the scale to do not scale and we will turn off our marks. Let's save this template for future reference. We'll call this Saddle Without Marks. Again, this will make it much more efficient in the future. Next, we will insert a document from within the that currently resides on the Fiery. To do this, we will select the first page and click the Insert Pages button. This is the third button from the left in the Compose area. We can now search the server or search the desktop for a particular file. We'll search the server and select Catalog Covers. This will bring up a brief preview. We can now select one or all the sheets within the document. For this example, we only want to insert the first page. As we insert the page, we'll see how our imposition layout is automatically updated to reflect the changes. I drop in the page and our layout now has been updated automatically. I can remove pages by selecting a page and clicking the delete button as well. We'll close the insert pages. Next we want to select the second page here. We actually want this not to be on the back of the first sheet but on the right hand signature of the second sheet. So this will make it a chapter start. We'll select that page, click the chapter start button, and dynamically the document is updated. Next, we'll apply our media settings to the entire document. We'll do a select all pages. We'll right click, and we'll assign our media. And we'll again use the plain paper, but this time we will use 11 by 17 or tabloid and click OK. We can change the media characteristics of a given sheet by clicking on the sheet definition below it. And for this example, we will change it from a plain to a heavy stock. And click OK. And click OK. To change the, the stock of a given page, we will click on the, 
To change an individual sheet to a different media type, we'll simply select the item listed underneath it and change the media type. To change, to change the cover stock now to a different media and change the co cover printing characteristics, we will click on the cover checkbox. We will change the cover, change the media to a heavy stock, and change the front cover to print on outside and the back cover to print on the outside, and click OK. Again, dynamically, our layout is updated. When we've completed our layout, we can use the reader view to preview it and scroll through the document. We can either click on the arrows in the lower uh, center, or we can click on the dog ears to scroll forward or backwards. When we've previewed the job, we can click the close button. Once the job is completed, we can click the save button and save the document and click OK. We will now merge the files together to create our final layout. When we're done, we can go ahead and close the sequence window, and our new job is listed at the top. Notice that when you select the job that has used the sequence compose functionality, that in the job summary area, it lists the different media types that have now been applied. If we want to get a quick preview of this job, we can select it, drop it into the processing queue to process it with, and hold it without actually printing it. The file will then be processed, and we can then see a preview with the job summary window. After the job is finished processing, we can select it, and we can see now the layout in the job summary area. We can also then select the preview to do a preview of the layout. We'll close the preview window. This completes the demonstration portion of the Fiery Sequence Suite training.